Whoa. What happened? Where am I? And then he's Twittier. What the hell? Oh, crap. I've gone back to the start! Hello, friends. It's your old pal Angry here. And welcome to a new series where uh, we're going to just do some single player in Railroader. Uh, we're here at East Whittier for a fresh start. And uh, figured we're just going to play a bit, have some fun, do our railroad a little bit differently than the Suffering Southern. First things first, we're here with our little 260. And... We're going to uh, customize this here. So the railroad is temporarily at least named the Blue Ridge and Western Railway. Uh, we're going to go with a black color scheme. And then for the lettering, probably a yellow again. Do I go for the same yellow I've had? Yeah, why not? Ah, Thunderbird. Uh, all right, let's get this. So we're going to do Blue Ridge and Western. And uh, we'll see what happens. If you have a better name for this railroad, please leave this in the comments below. That way uh, we can get something better here. So we're starting literally from scratch. We're basically going to do the tutorial in this episode here. Um, now that that's colored, we need a better whistle. Um, this is a small little 260. You know what? Powell 3 chime. I usually don't go for the Powell 3, but here we are. So we need to go rescue our other engines. Let's do that first. And I believe if we are mistaken, we have to get coal and water. And we only have so much. We need to rescue number one, get that going. We have to do some log runs, and we have to do some pasture stuff. So we will try to maximize what we can do. And this is currently set on the two for one. Uh, yeah, we're leaving it two for one right now. Because we have still some... Uh, it's still the very basic starting of the game. So... Okay, come on, and like a glove, let's go ahead and get our water going. And we're all, that's watering. We're going to go ahead and get this set for where our loads go and where our interchange stuff is. And that is empty. So we'll take the thousand tons of coal or a thousand pounds of coal that are here and we'll switch this out later. Um, just as a refresher, what do we got? So we have a pasture car, a caboose, and we have the handful of log cars. Okay. Excellent. So we need to start making some money. We need to get our trains fixed because I think we're going to have number one be our passenger engine and we'll just automate it to go back and forth for a bit. Um, meanwhile, we have $5,000. It's the most money we've had in a while. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. So um, we're going to need to hire two people there. We interchange tomorrow. Let's go ahead and accept contracts at all of our places. And I wonder, because now they have the interchanges set. You know what? We're going to try ordering an interchange. And see if that gets over to us here. Meanwhile, we've got our water. So let's go ahead and move forward. Get our coal. All right, so that'll be loading up. Um, those are all set now. Milestones. We're going to hold off on the diesel stand. I'm almost tempted to go to Silva first, but I think that's a little overkill. Um... So let's at least get the next set of cars for Ella, Track, and Bridge. And that has already given us the coal. Okay. So we got what we got. Achoo! So we got what we got. Let's go ahead and rescue our locomotive here. Also stow that here, please. I 
probably should open that window. Let's open that door too, get a little, little ventilation going in here. Now it has been some time since I uh, played from the tutorial essentially on this, this kind of railroad. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how more efficiently or less efficiently some stuff may run now. Let's go ahead. Bring her to a stop. So we'll go ahead and get this done. Now, another thing I will add is we are running this save with mods. So we do have other locomotives, uh, car combinations, etc., that we can use and we will eventually probably use. But again, because we're starting from square one, we don't have a lot that we can do just yet. All right, let's go ahead and start slowing down. And that should be good. Alrighty, you get up, get back on the rail. You know what you did. And that locomotive is rolling. So first off, copy that. And we're gonna color that, and we're gonna call this a uh, rocket for right now. And let's see. Eh, not Western. Alrighty. And those colors are not quite the same, but we'll fix that here later on. We at least need to get this locomotive coupled up. Getting fixed. Alrighty, bring her back. Got it. All right. In we go. But wait, if I was on the ground and then the train was moving, who was in the engineer's seat? It's a ghost. No, we're not going to do that bullshit. All right, let's go. Come on, get up out of the hill. Alrighty. Okay, switch is thrown. Did I not cut out? No, we're good. Alright, we're going to shove you back into stall two. And we need to go ahead and get some coal. Just slowly drift her back here. And that should hopefully land nice and comfy right in our roundhouse. I mean, it's not a roundhouse. It's more of an engine shed. And it's not even around. It's just there. But, you know, we'll, we'll call it that for the sake of, uh, of synergy. So let's go ahead and get her here. Uh, allergies have definitely kicked up where I live. So apologies uh, for the sniffles if you hear them. But uh, gotta love spring weather because that means that... Uh, It'll be warmer, it'll be nicer, but that also means that some of the sniffles come out. So, let's go ahead, get you set to be fixed up. Same thing. Oh, the, the 10 wheeler is only at 70% borked. Interesting. All right. So, we're going to go ahead, put the handbrake on there. Let's move forward. Let's grab that car. 
And how long are they saying that it's going to take to uh, fix that? One day, two hours. Yeah, we could do a lot better. Let's. $150 a day. That'll get them working. Okay. Come on, easy does it. Go ahead, tie in the air while we're rolling. Maybe, there we go. Okay. And I feel like we're being super quick about stuff. Which is good, because we definitely want to be. Um, let's see. Can we flying switch this? Yes, we can, and we will. Um, so, what we'll do... Let's go ahead and get rolling. Ready. Through the switch. Apply some brake. Clear the switch. Now I wonder, let's look at the colors of the tender real quick. Um, let's see. Kind of like this color, F7A200. So we're going to go ahead. Nope. Uh, F7A200. I wonder. That's a yellow. Okay. All right, you're gonna live there. All right, and you're gonna be car number 100. And yeah, black what lettering? Blue Ridge and Western. And your car number 100. Congratulations, you've been upgraded to 100 class. And all right, so, because I have a feeling it's going to take a minute, we're going to go ahead and couple up to our coach and the 500 caboose. We're going to get the caboose out of the way for right now. We may just stuck it in um, one of the issue shed tracks. But we'll see. Uh, and then we're going to couple up to the log flats and take them up the hill and get them where they need to go. And thankfully, we only have a few log flats to deal with because we only have like the eight or nine that are there. So that'll make it easy to deal with. How much money we got? $4,000. So that should be more than enough for our coal hopper to be interchanged over in approximately whatever it is. Two hours and one minute. All right, that was a little hard of a thump, but you know. Did we hurt the car? Shit, we did. Well, we're off to a great start. We're off to a fantastic start. All righty. Alrighty. So we are off and running. Let's go ahead. We're going to go auto set this to pick up people for at both stations. But it's time for some freight. And I think what we'll do, let's go ahead. We'll send this over. 
And how many cards do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe all eight of these will fit at um, at Connolly Creek. And do we not have the uh, the the thing yet? Copy the couple. Because do we not have the sawmill yet? No, we don't. Okay, so the sawmill will activate tomorrow in game. But we can at least go ahead and get the uh, cars set up for it. And maybe that means we'll just run some pass drops for a little bit. Hopefully get ourselves a uh, decent start. That's number two, the Thunderbird. Goes up to collect them. Because depending on how fast they load. Because that's the other wild card. Is because we're starting fresh. We go up to Conley Creek. They are literally starting from scratch. Of how many logs are in storage. So it may take a moment or two. For the logs to fill up. But. Um, maybe. Because we already did order that interchange. Wait the interchange is not going to do. Sh well it will get us coal. But it's not going to start until tomorrow in game. Right? Yeah, tomorrow. Um, oh, crap. Well, that did not take long for our first major crash. So, um, ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. That was fun, guys, right? God damn it. Well, they're log flats. Nobody cares about log flats. Okay. Um, wait. Hold on. What? I'm confused. There it is. Okay. Up to L2, we're going. We got 215 tons. This should be more than plenty for our lovely locomotive. Let's make sure that switches are set down here. And this one will be good to go. And yes, I probably could fly faster, but we're already running, especially down the center of the gauge, which is completely safe for already practices. Completely safe. Hey, let's not run back. Let's just uh, follow the train wherever it went. And maybe at the end of the day, we'll put this in to be uh, fixed up just a little bit. And maybe the coach as well. No, the coach is at 99%. That's normal wear and tear, son. That's easy. But we're already off to a great start. So we can't complain. Thank you. Okay, let's see. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. 99, so you're going to be put there. 83. And you're also set for Eastwood here, and you're fine. We'll probably put the uh, caboose in the house track at Whittier, knowing anything. But let's go ahead and send this train up the hill. And alrighty, so that's all taken care of. Get this switch thrown. That'll get rolling. Now here's the question. How many passengers we got? 29. And the freight cars going up to East Whittier. Okay. 
So hopefully that gets us going. So let's give this more beans. Give her the beans! And get this train rolling up uh, the sawmill grade. Come the creek grade. And off it goes. So let's just enjoy a little bit of railroad crossing action with the Blue Ridge and Western. Majestic. Beautiful. All right, up the hill. And you're going to L2, which should fit all of this stuff. So we'll give it some more beans. And I believe up here on the grade, the switches should already be lined to the very top of the mountain. Yeah, because we could stop at L1, but that only holds a few cars. So that could be a future expansion of we could get a set for L2, which is this, and then a set for L1, which should be five cars. If we really went ham, we could go ahead and get the um, set of six cars for the top of the hill as well. But now we are aligned for there, and we're going to go ahead and preemptively put a few Z down for when we inevitably start uh, running this part of the railroad on uh, AI sort of basis. Let's hop back over to the back of our train and see what's going on. All right, so we're making good progress up here. Things are rolling. Things are going well. So that is not bad at all. I feel like we've done so much in a very small amount of time. Granted, we've already had a crash, which is not something to brag about. But, you know, we're, we're getting everything else going, which is good. And we got enough coal and water to get us going. In fact, yeah, we have three and a half tons of coal. We barely made a dent in the water, which is fantastic. And have we already made it to the first logging place? No, it's just a corner. Um, damn. How sad. I thought I knew this railroad better. But, oh well, we'll continue to shove these cars up the hill. Uh, now, I will say, this video will be out a week early for uh, channel members here. So if you'd like to see these videos a week before the general public, uh, or if I am not able to get these up a week early, at least a day or two early, uh, please consider joining the channel as a member. You do get perks from... Emojis to use in our live streams that we do a couple of times a week. Uh, Discord membership roles. You can be a lime train, a banana train, or a crispy bacon operator. Um, and we also do have other perks in there. So check out some of the stuff if you're interested in doing that. So if you're a channel member, thank you for doing that. And you'll see your name thanked in the description of the video here in the credits. Or something like that. We're figuring all of it out as we go. So this is a brand new world. All right, here we are at the first log camp, so let's continue up the hill. Um, and I will also say that this does not mean that the Suffer in Southern is going anywhere. The Suffer in Southern will continue to be our primary live stream series. We may do some one-off videos into two. But I figured, hey, the Suffer in Southern is so crazy and wild, you can't be run by one person. But this can be. So we'll try to do this for a bit. Uh, see how people like it, and uh, we'll continue it if you guys like it. So, uh, you know, let me know in the comments how you uh, enjoy some of the silly train videos. All right. Well, while that's going, we're going to make a quick pit stop. I'm just genuinely curious how fast number one is getting fixed up, because we did hire a lot of people, and it's still at 70%. It is spotted, and it's on the right track. But oh well. All right. We'll 
continue shoving our awkward consist of log flats, one coach, and a caboose. But, you know, it do be like it do be. Almost to the top. Can we? Whoa! Not there. Here. Let's see, we're at 50%. Let's go to 30. See if that gets us any more speed up the hill here. It seems to be holding pretty well, so let's give it a little bit more. 30%. That slowed us down, I think, by just one little tick. But we're coming up to our stopping point. So we'll go ahead, back off on the throttle a bit. And we'll start slowing down here. Okay. We're now just entering Conley Creek L2. All right, come on. Uh, is everything spotted? No. Maybe? Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and leave these up here. Let's take this off, which, yeah, they're they're spotted. They'll load. They'll do fine. All right. Handbrakes on. So that means it's time for us to roll down the hill. And uh, we'll let this roll. We'll meet you back at the bottom of Conley Creek to... Uh, Start with some pasture ops, so we'll see you down there. The hell was that? Huh. We found our engine. There it is. Let's take back over control. Thank you, Mr. AI Engineer, for all your service to the company. Your services are no longer required. Get the hell off my train. Okay. Front headlight is on. And that means we need to make a passenger delivery. Now, the other question is, um, how soon is that interchange? Hour and 31 minutes, which is 11.40. It's about 10, almost 10.10 10 now. So we'll probably see if that interchange does anything for us in the next video. But let's at least go ahead and get our first passenger run done on the Blue Ridge and Western. As we pull into Whittier proper. Still got plenty of coal, plenty of water. And it feels weird not seeing signals. 
This railroad will be a good railroad. Maybe even a better railroad than the Suffern Southern, but we will see. the station we're spotted there it goes come on people get on my damn train we got places to go and only one station to get to Ella Ela however you pronounce it all right 23 people about half coach Alrighty. Let's go. You know what? We're gonna ride this, uh, not in the engine. We're gonna ride it in this coach. Ah, uh, look at all these seats. I wonder where I'm going to sit. Let's sit here. And lean my head through a pane of glass as we uh, travel down the tracks behind number two. Our lovely 260. So let's get some speed. You know, I don't know what it is about this game. Whether it's just... It's fun. It's not perfect, but it's fun. Nice little river, river view here. Forget the name of the river that we parallel for much of this journey, but I'm sure it'll pop to me the moment I stop recording this video. But uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going down the tracks, and hopefully we'll make it to uh, to Ella on time. I don't know why I say on time, because there's no schedule. Where there's no timetable, there's no anything, but... You know. It is what it is. Alright, so we're cruising in a nice clip. I'm going to back off the throttle just a little bit here. Save our little bit of coal and water that we do have while we're waiting for stuff to, to move over. Lovely little thing. Okay, I'm bored. We need a different seat. There's no, uh, no thing to help. Whoa! Nothing to uh, help us cross. So let's go up to the caboose. And yeah, there we go. Am I sitting? No. These windows don't open or close. Damn. Well, we'll just do we'll just do this for a little bit. And I believe we're about to hit the 30 mile an hour curve. So we'll just start coasting a little bit here. Maybe put on just a hair a break. Five pounds set just to slow us down a hair. Ready. And there it is, the 30 mile an hour sign. So calm, so peaceful, so tranquil. Oh, 
well right now. We are approaching our station stop here at Ella. So we're going to bob and weave back and forth here. So that means we'll be pulling into a stop here at Ella. Go ahead, put a five pound set on. Eh, a little harder, seven pound set. Now that we start to slow down. And here we are, Ella Station. Let's see if we make any money off this puppy. Which would be very nice if that was the case. And we've got 20-ish passengers going the other way. Whoa. Not there. There. Alright, come on train, unload. Give me money. How much we got? Come on, big money, big money. $24 for 24 fares. Holy guacamole. Damn. Alrighty. Well, we've picked up our passengers. Number two is ready to head back. And we're just going to go ahead and shove it. So with that... We're going to go ahead and get this engine sent back. Thank you so much for joining us this episode. We'll see you next time for more fun here with Anger Ragtimer and the Blue Ridge and Western. It's time for number two to head on out. <laughs>